Because the Lord has risen and the Lord is on your case. Amen. The Lord is on your case. Amen. It doesn't matter how many years they have thwarted. It doesn't matter how many years they have tried to manipulate. It doesn't matter the challenges you have faced over the year. If God can answer the Israelites and told them never to fight in this battle, we all knew what happened in their battles. In the book of Psalm, he told us, he said, as the mountain are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. The reason was what? That enemies can come at any time, but when they come, God will raise a standard. The standard means that your money they have taken, God will raise a standard to bring it back. It means you that is sick and you are trying to try this, try that, and nothing is working. God is bringing back your health. It means that you, that they have frustrated you and you are running at a scatter. You don't know where to shelter your life. God has brought shelter to you now. Receive shelter. Receive shelter. Receive shelter. I said receive shelter. Receive shelter. I am not speaking as just a preacher. I am a prophet. When I say something, the whole world can pass away. That thing that the Lord asked me to say will come to pass. Your life has been blessed. Anybody that said that you are his problem, the Lord will become the problem of the person. The people that are imagining in their heart, they imagine vain things. They imagine negative things against you. Every imagination has been captured by the Lord. And the Lord has already planned to dismantle. And they will dismantle their plans. Lay your hand on your head. Lay your hand on your head. Say this word. Say, Father, my life is blessed. My hand is I am blessed. favored. I, I have favored. received the power. I have received power, the power to conquer. Power to, power power to overtake. Power to, power power to remain full. Power, to, power to remain full. Full of your blessings. Full of your favor. Full of your blessings. Full of your grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because God on your side means as you are worshiping the Lord, the Lord is busy working in your favor. Amen. So it is a call that people of God should know. That God is on their side. And when you know this, nothing will ever move you. Amen? Nothing will ever move you. That you are waiting for, you may be waiting, you may be waiting, and you have not laid your hand on it. Delay is not a denier. Amen? Delay is not what? It's not a denial. God will do that which is impossible. Amen? Amen? God will what? He will do that which is eh, impossible. Because he is the God of possibility. In the name of Jesus. So the Israelites said, if not God on our side, our enemy would have swallowed us by now. Why do they want to swallow them? They don't want them. They don't want them to exist. In fact, they hate them because God loves them. I want you to know that the love of God in your life will make people to look at you and envy you. And when people look at you and envy you, don't be angry. Stop being angry. Why are they envying me? Just be happy and cheer up in your heart. And know that why they envy you is because you are too loved by God. The love of God upon you is too much. Amen? Because when God loves you, best is your portion. Amen? Amen? The best I talk about is that some people will say, oh, oh, look at my mates. They've all married. I've not yet married. Your mate married, but the standard and the quality of a husband or a wife God is bringing to you is not the same with their own. Hello? A woman was crying to God. He said, God, oh, you have not given me children. I only have one child. And God said, do you know the meaning of one child I gave to you? So I don't know. But God, hey, why will it be one child that I have? And God said, don't worry. You will know the reason why. And when the time came, that one child become like a nation. He had a wife, gave birth to children, 
had a good life and they took care of the woman in such a way that even the one that has seven, eight, nine, ten cannot. Amen? It doesn't matter how many in your pocket because the little with the righteous is more than the millions or the trillions with the unrighteous. That's why David said, I better be a gate man in the house of God than to come and sit in Asorok. Hello? I better come to the house of God and sit down and hear the Lord than to go and watch national stadium where they are doing entertainment or whatever. Because a day with God is like a thousand years. Amen? And so every child of God that knows this, you will never at any time keep away from God. You will always make yourself available, attach yourself. That is why in the book of Romans, the Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, that you present yourself as a living sacrifice to God, holy and acceptable. When you present yourself before God, that is what is called the spiritual routine that God does in your life. The Lord renews you. The Lord restrengthens your heart because the only way we can win in this world, the only way we can succeed in this world is our faith in God. And you can never have faith in God without the world. When you hear me ministering here, I'm not just ministering, I'm trying to impact you so that the level of that faith that is in Christ will be in you. That's why I said, let this heart, let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. And he said again, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Why? Because Jesus had his challenges. He had the time that there was a bargain. Bargain is that, oh, can you bow to me and then take the whole world? Oh, can you do this and you will not go to the cross? Oh, this hunger can finish under a microsecond. Just command this stone to become a bread. Oh, don't you know, as the son of God, all you just need is to do small things. Let the world respect you. And Christ said, man shall not live by bread alone. I said, thou will worship God, only God alone. Will thou worship? You are not going to bow to any other thing. And he said, get thee behind me, Satan. Because as I'm talking to you, there are people that are hearing me, or people that are seated here, that the enemy is bargaining you. Many people have waited upon the Lord and it seems that their blessings has not come and they have already begun to have a negative thought in their heart. Some say, I beg, make I just go do that thing. I have decided to go and do it. I decided to go and join. I decided to go and uh, sacrifice. I decided to go and do this. All of those things that the enemy is pressuring you to go and do. The reason is for you to now disconnect from Christ. And any blessing God cannot give you is not for you. Amen. If God decided not to lift you, there's a purpose. And when he would decide to lift you, he will catapult you beyond all the people that have been lifted before you. Amen? Amen. That which you are waiting for that has not come does not mean that God will not give you. He will give you, but it's at the appointed uh, time. And that is why it is important that we know the God we serve. We see how he works and we follow him the way he works. And we wait patiently for God to settle us. As far as you are concerned this morning, God has already settled you. God has already settled you. Whether the devil like it or not, God has settled you. Say amen to that. In the name of Jesus, our enemy will continue to fight, but victory will continue to be our portion. Amen? Are you hearing me? I say, are you with me? The enemy will continue to fight. But one thing is sure. Victory will continue to be our portion. Say, I receive my victory. I receive my victory. In the name of Jesus. And so, a child of God must do everything possible. Do what you can do. And leave the rest for God. Amen. Do what you can do. And do what? Leave the rest for God. Because you are not alone. Many times we think we are alone. 
especially when we are constrained or when we are under pressure or when we look at ourselves ah this need this this problem now this this issue now this challenge now what can i do my paper my document my harassment my sickness my pain this that that you think you are alone you are never a alone the people that are alone are people who doesn't know him People that know him will always say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not eh, want. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what my enemies will do to me. Hallelujah. And if God is on your side and God is with you, it doesn't matter the sea, it doesn't matter the river you pass through, it doesn't matter the fire, because we have seen it. We have seen the Israelites they pass through the river. They pass through the, the sea. The sea was such a sea that at their time, there was no boat to cross them. At their time, there was no, no ship for them to enter. There was no bridge. But we read it in the Bible and we knew that it's true that these people walked on dry ground inside the sea. Amen. Amen. And we knew also that the Bible made us to understand that God was with them as a pillar of fire by the night and pillar of cloud by the day. And what's the meaning of that? The meaning of that is that when you are sleeping, God is awake. Hello? When you are sleeping, God is awake. God is not looking at, oh, how many strength does she have? That's why Jesus said, if you will have faith, as little as mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea. And the mountain will automatically obey you. Because the disciples were like, ah, Jesus, look at the, look at the tree you cursed. The tree had died. He said, yes. If you too will have faith, as little. He doesn't need the faith that, that is as big as this house. No. God is not looking for the mountain moving faith. He needed to start somewhere. Believe. As long as you believe, you will see surprises. Tell your neighbor, I will see surprises. Say, I will see surprises. I will see surprises in the name of Jesus. Except you don't believe. If you believe, you will see the surprises in the name of Jesus. And the, the people that believe, nothing became impossible. Their business will flourish. Let your business flourish. I say, let your business flourish. Let everything you lay your hand, let it prosper. Anywhere you see yourself, ahead, ahead, you will go. I say, you will go ahead, ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will go ahead, ahead. In Jesus' name, I declare.